Hey guys, today we're gonna do a makeup transformation that is probably one of the most scariest Halloween makeups I've ever done. This video is also sponsored by Mayron, and today's makeup is of Reagan from the classic movie The Exorcist. This is probably one of the most classic and scariest movies, and it's probably one of the most sought after makeup transformations that you guys have been requesting for me to do. So today I thought I would do a makeup transformation of The Exorcist. This movie is about evil possessions, but it's definitely very creepy. In collaboration with Mayron, so let's see if we could do this and get started with the makeup. First of all, I am definitely going to put a wig cap on my head because I am going to put a wig on later that is very full and fluffy and messy. And once that wig cap is on, I'm going to get some purple glue sticks that are in lighter purple shade. That means that the glue stick is a little bit older and more used because it's a little bit more pliable and easier to work with on your eyebrows. And I'm also going to use Mayron's Color Set Powder. This color set powder is around $12, but it comes in a very huge container that will last you throughout your whole Halloween makeups this year and any beauty makeups that you're doing later on. But as you can see, I'm just doing two to three to maybe even four layers of glue and powder, waiting for each layer to completely dry before moving on to the next. This is gonna flatten down our eyebrows so that we could paint on top of them because in The Exorcist, she has no eyebrows whatsoever. It is like the hairs fell out whenever she was possessed in the movie. Make sure each layer is completely flat and dry. And once that last layer is on, I'm gonna get one of my all-time favorite products from Mayron, and that is their zombie kit. This kit is perfect for this makeup look. It comes with its own pamphlet on how to do zombie makeups, and it comes with a large color wheel and two cream colors some blood gel and some zombified colored liquid latex with some paint for your teeth. It also comes with two makeup sponges and a makeup wipe. The first colors we're gonna use from the zombie kit are the white and the light green colors. And I'm gonna mix those two together. You wanna do about three parts white to one part green. And I'm just swatching it on my chin before getting the makeup sponge from the kit to apply it to my face. I'm at first doing a thin layer on my chin and then moving on to my eyebrow with a paintbrush and I'm going to apply that color to my eyebrow. This paint is perfect for eyebrows because it is thick so it'll cover your brow hairs and it won't seep into the glue stick that we use to cover our eyebrows and it also works for other eyebrow covers. It is highly opaque and pigmented and blends out nicely on the skin. So once you have each eyebrow painted in, I'm moving on to that sponge and also a technique using a stipple brush onto my face and applying that on my face and near my eyes just to get a starter layer of blending that color into my skin and then blending it out with the makeup sponge that came in the kit. Now I'm taking off some of the makeup from my cheek because I almost forgot to set my layers of liquid latex. I love this color of liquid latex that comes in the Mayron Zombie Kit because it is that perfect green shade that is almost like a light mossy green color of dead skin. It definitely reminds me of the skin of Beetlejuice. And you want to lightly apply a layer of a cut mark onto this part of your cheek. And then I'm blending out the edges with a very tiny paintbrush. Use a paintbrush that you don't care if you throw it away. And I'm also doing a cut on the bridge of my nose. And I'm just doing it on other parts of my cheeks. You really want to look at reference pictures from the film The Exorcist of this girl when she's being possessed. I'm going to do the look where her eyes are completely white when she's having a fit in the movie and going through so much, she has cuts on her face from the demon that's possessing her. So that's what we're recreating with this liquid latex here. As you can see, I also put a giant gash on my forehead and just certain areas on your face. You don't wanna put this too close to your eyes or your lips on areas that move a lot, that have a lot of creases because it won't set as nicely. I am also using a hair dryer to make this liquid latex completely dry before setting it with that color set powder from Mayron. And then you're gonna get to that white and green cream paint that we mixed together before and color it over those dried liquid latex pieces that we did of the cuts on her face. The perfect technique I found with trying to color these liquid latex pieces 
without them budging too much or moving off her face is to get a paintbrush and put that color on first and then blend it out with the sponge. I'm also doing the brush technique on my forehead, my nose, and the rest of my face just to get the color on there because you want to make sure your human color of skin does not go or show through the makeup because her face in the movie is like just dead skin. There's no living soul in her body because she's being possessed. So you wanna make sure that you color your ears, down your neck and your chest, because you wanna make sure you have an even layer of makeup before moving on to your color set powder to powder down all that makeup that we just applied on. And once that powder is completely on, it is time to move on to the other products from my zombie kit. I'm getting this awesome cream paint wheel that is in the zombie kit, along with a blue cream makeup stick. The zombie kit does not include this blue color, but I thought it'd be great to mix it in to do some bruising and blood tones onto the face. So I'm mixing equal parts of the red and brown from the zombie kit cream wheel and a little bit of that blue to make this violet bruise color and I'm pulling apart one of the makeup sponge from the zombie kit so that it has this awesome texture. That'll be great to apply these colors to my face of bruise marks that look more natural like real bruised skin. Starting off using that makeup sponge with the colors onto the bridge of my nose, but if you also have an orange stipple sponge, this gives great texture as well. So throughout the video, I go from the orange stipple sponge to the disposable makeup sponge that comes in the kit. I'm making a bruised eye here, and I'm also then going to grab that mustard yellow color from my zombie kit cream wheel and put that near the sockets of my eyes and around the puffiness where my eye bags would be. If you ever look at natural bruises, they have like some tones of yellowish green with blue purpley reds. So this zombie kit cream wheel is perfect for this and I'm also putting it on my other eye and as you can see on my lips because she has these dry cracked lips that are very bruised up in certain parts of my face. Again, you really want to look at reference pictures from the movie The Exorcist to do this makeup. She has bruises all across her forehead and certain parts of her face as well. You could apply these bruises near those liquid latex edges just so that it blends the edges very nicely because they're totally different textures. But you want to keep your eyebrows completely bare with no bruising, just how she has in the movie. I am putting some blue tone violet colors from the blue and bruised colors that we mixed together with that orange stipple sponge in the sockets of my eyes. And as you can see, I'm also bringing those bruise marks down to my neck and chest. You can get different shaped brushes. I find that fluffy paint brushes with this yellow color apply very well onto certain parts of the face to give texture near the nose. And I got that liquid latex again and applied it to my lip, not in your mouth, just on your lip because she has these dry, cracked lips with dead skin around it. Then I got the most red tone cream makeup from my zombie wheel of cream palettes. Use the red color to apply to those liquid latex cut mark pieces that we put on our face before putting on fake blood later. I'm also putting in the sockets of my eyes as well. And once you're done with the red cream paint, it is time to get our fake gel blood from the zombie kit. You could use a disposable Q-tip or you could get the little tiny detail paintbrush that comes within the kit. This paintbrush is so good for detail and to get in the cracks and crevices. And this is gonna give so much detail of those cuts and wounds that we made with the liquid latex. You also wanna make sure to get this near the corners of your mouth. And once you have those cuts all gooey and bloodied up, I'm gonna get my orange stipple sponge with the bruise colors again, just to give some definition near the crevices of my face and in my eyes. On my forehead, I felt like I needed more on my neck and chest area. And then I got a paintbrush with the blue tones of the cream makeups and put that on my lips with the foundation color as well on top of those liquid latex lip marks that we did so that it looks cracking and dried up and gross. And once you're done with that bruising detail, it is time to get a wig. I got this brown wig. I think it's one of the Hermione from Harry Potter wigs that I just found in a local Halloween store and I had it really messy. And then I got the green cream paint from my zombie cream Mayron wheel from the zombie kit and put that as the exorcist vomit. It's the perfect color of that split pea green soupy disgusting vomit that she spews within the movie whenever she's possessed. 
You wanna have it running down your lips, your chin, down your neck. You can even put some on the costume if you want. Just layer it on to make it look like she's drooling all this green, filmy, gross vomit. And I got some darker blue tones and put that inside of my lip before drying down my teeth with a tissue paper because I cannot forget about the tooth paint from my Mayron Zombie Kit and start painting my teeth this dingy yellow color. I also put some black tooth paint on top just to layer it to make it look more rotten from another tooth paint kit I had. And I got some matte black eyeshadow with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and darken in the sockets of my eyes and certain parts of my face, especially around your lip. You really want the mouth to stand out with all that vomit coming out and the laugh lines when she sneers and growls and screams just like in the movie. And now you can be completely done with this makeup, but I decided to get some white out contact lenses. Just like in the movie in The Exorcist when she's completely possessed and her eyes roll back and her eyes are completely white. Because now we are completely done with our Exorcist makeup transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it doesn't scare you too much. I hope this inspired you guys to try this out for Halloween or bring any more ideas for your Halloween makeup looks this year. Thank you so much to Mayron for sponsoring this video. If it wasn't for you guys watching, I would not get awesome opportunities like this to work with amazing companies. The products that Mayron puts out is just perfect for Halloween. And all the products that I used for this Exorcist makeup look is in the description box of this video so you can check those out. You get this whole zombie kit for under $40 and it's so helpful not only for zombies and exorcists, possessed makeup looks, but other makeups as well. Maybe even waterlogged pirates, there's so many ideas you could do with it. But now it is time for me to transform back into my normal self from a possessed demon girl. I am definitely going to use that makeup wipe that came in my Mayron zombie kit. It is so useful and works so well. To get off all this makeup, it even took off some of my tooth lacquer at first before I got a tissue paper to take off the rest. It even removed the liquid latex pieces that we applied to our face, which is saying something because those aren't that easy to remove all the time. If you guys did this makeup or any makeup from my YouTube channel, please post it on Instagram and tag me hashtag catsketch. I would love to see it in all of your makeup Halloween looks and ideas this year. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I am everywhere. Again, all the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next makeup look transformation video. So excited to do more videos with you guys this year for Halloween. Love you all. Bye.